It's Serious Matters again with me here at Onif TV. Well, please do share our videos to us, drop a comment, make them simple and civil. Well, uh, you know, we talk politics, you know, and several other stuff. And um, leadership concerns us a lot and spreading good news. I mean, things that will educate us and help us, you know, get better at whatever we do and also be well informed. That's what ONIF TV stands for. In any case, we are, that's why I'm bringing this particular video. I want to watch this video. Um, it's an it's an interview. It was an interview with uh, the current outgoing governor of um, Kaduna State, Malam El Nasir El Rufai, you know, where he made certain statements. And one continues to wonder, uh, is it uh, so? Let me not say is. It's not a question. You wonder that. Oh, so the leaders know. Our leaders know. You know what they ought to do. They know why we're having the issues that we're having and all of that. So they know. You need to hear what he said in this video. You need to hear what he said in this video. I mean, and please, when you are dropping your comment, please make them simple and civil. Let us know what you feel. You know, yeah. I mean, we 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 live in we live in an age where, in a time when you know, I just continue to wonder why our leaders why our leaders are so are, are just the way they are. But then he gave an excuse for why we are going through what we are going through as a nation, why Nigerians are suffering and, you know, you know, having what they have, you know, but then uh, I want you to hear from the horses mouth, then we'll come back to discuss this matter. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, this is Serious Matters on ONIP TV. So why are we surprised? All the good people keep away from politics. Who will be in politics? It's a vacuum. It will be filled by bad people. If all the good people go abroad, or join the private sector, who is going to be in government? <laughs> the, the people that are not so good. And this is what is we're happening. We, we are seeing an intersection of bad people in government, bad people in politics, and our country is running down. It's going down the drain. Now, now even the good ones that want to get involved, that is that kind of a tactical way of edging them out of the because, contest. Because they are not a critical mass. There are very few of them. There are very few of them. When we were in the government, only about four of us as ministers could stand up and say we disagreed with President Obasanjo. There are 42 ministers, only about four that I remember, could speak in council against anything Obasanjo wanted to do if we disagreed. Why? So others will just agree with you? Everybody will keep quiet. And this is the problem. When you pick people that have never achieved anything in their lives and put them in these very senior government positions, they want to remain there forever, they will do anything to remain there. They would not tell the president the truth. They would not look at the governor and tell him the truth, which is their job as advisors. Because a minister is an advisor. No, no, in, in that case, is it the fault of the people or the fault of the man who, 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 who plays them? Because no, it, it is a bit of both. Okay? It is the fault of the elites, in my opinion. I won't say the people. In every society, the elites, those that are privileged with education, money, or influence, are the ones that ought to sit down and set the tone for the structure of that society. Okay? If our elites have chosen not to go into politics and set that tone, as I said, there is a vacuum, the bad ones will take over. We've seen that in Nigeria. So there is, there is that. It is also true that the leader that picks those around him is, cul is culpable because you are responsible for those you select. Okay? You are constrained to some extent because our constitution, for instance, says that uh, uh, you know, the president must appoint a minister from each state. But it doesn't say that you should appoint a criminal from the state. It says that you should look for the best possible person and appoint him to be minister. So uh, there are constraints, but still I believe that in this country we have so much talent that if we are really looking for uh, square pegs to put in square holes, we will find them. And there is a... Uh, I, I think it has to do with the sincerity of the person in charge. I, no, no, you, you know, as I said, Leaders must be checked. Absolute power, uh, power corrupt. Hmm. Hey, hey. Well, but you know, when you say, when you say, because the good ones are not many, because that was what eventually boiled down to, that the good ones are not many, and that's why you know matters deteriorated to the level they are today, and all of that. What about the one that came out this last time? Yes, you might say, okay, Peter B is not, you know, he's not 100%. Who is 100%? Even me, I'll be 100% good. 
who is 100% good? Jesus Christ said, no man, nobody, nobody is holy. Nobody. The holiest of us is like a filthy rag. That's the holiest of our right. That's the righteous. That's what we call our own righteousness. So, but then when we now get somebody who is, you know, look at, look at this. Peter Obi said in, in London recently, he said, if APC meant well for Nigeria, why did they leave out the likes of Osebajo and gave us Tinubu? He's not saying that Tinubu is bad. He said, but Tinubu would have been good for us 20 years ago. But here we are today, he cannot solve our issue. And so some people went as far as, you know, going to say that Pastor Adeboye said Tinubu was going to solve the issue of Nigeria and all of that. Whereas he actually did not say that. He didn't even say anything that had to do with God. You, re you realize, if you go and check his ministration in recent times, he talks doesn't say anything about government. He doesn't say anything. And I think that has offended, he has offended so many by not saying anything. He has offended many. But... I also said to some persons, I said not saying something is actually saying something. So the question is, why, is he, why has he chosen his style of saying something, or this particular style, silence to say something? So, well, I think the bottom line is that we'll continue to try our best, we'll continue to push, and that's why the tribunal is very, very important, that, I, that matters are ironed out, that mandates are returned or retained, you know, when the truth, as long as the truth is what we are riding on. Well, it is still serious matters on Onif TV. Watch this video again, share with others, let people know that these leaders, they know what they are doing. Uh, don't deceive yourself. And we have said times and again, don't kill yourself because of anybody. Don't kill yourself because of any leader. You mark parai, mark parai, and it's okay to go. Hey, tell you, Nick Bill, Titi, me know the Nick Bill, that when you delay what Tibo Tennico come up with any Titi, my green wall. So please, please, let's stay on the calm side. Thank you very much for watching. This is still serious, man. On the TV. God bless you. Bye bye.